Hello guys again and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and today we've got this Parkside laser distance measurer model PLEM 50C2 measuring ranges from 0.05 to 50 meters measurement accuracy it is 1.5 millimeters more or less measuring units metric and imperial alkaline batteries included 3 years warranty for precise measuring of distance, areas and volumes, Pythagoras function, indirect length measurement, continuous measurement function with minimum max display, optional additional or subtraction of measurements, memory function max 100% measurements, three reference points, measurement from a lower trailing edge or from an integrated positioning pin, LCD display with a backlight and battery status display, automatic switch off, built-in um, spirit level and more and more we're gonna find out together how we can work with that. Now let's open it. Oh, inside oh, we'll get a lovely case. Like it. You can put it to your belt. unit batteries and of course we've got and the manual a huge manual if you want to read it is your choice but stay with me i'm gonna find out all about this product you can see it fits very well put other things here Okay, here we've got the display, we've got the keypad, spirit level, both sides. Here we've got the receiver lens and the laser beam output opening. And here we've got the battery compartment. And let's install the batteries. We've got the power button. And there it is. Battery status indicator. Now at the keyboard we've got the mess button, by pressing we'll take the measurement values, we've got the function selection button, we've got the continuous measurement button, we've got the add subtract button, we've got the beep button, press it and it will turn off. It's not doing anything, no beep. Press and hold and it will turn on again. We've got a beep. Here is the memory button. You can see one, two, three. This is the return and clear button, the C. Here we've got the reference button. We can see here is changing the icon. And there is the reference point from. We've got the reference point back and the reference point end. It depends from where you can start measuring, where you are going to put uh, this unit and start measuring. And there's the unit button, feet, inches, meter, feet, inches. Now for start measuring, just uh, choose the reference point from here. I would like front, it is okay. Choose the unit, it is meter. Okay. Press once, laser will be activated, and then you can press again, and you've got the measure. Press again, once, and it will take other measure. Of course, I'm moving now my unit, that's why you can see a, a different uh, values. Nice, you can clear with this button. If you want to take a continuous measurement uh, values, just press uh, this button. And it will go on until uh, 30 seconds, then it will stop. If you want to stop uh, the measure, just press it again and it will stop. And you can see we've got the minimum and the maximum. And clear again. Of course, we can measure other uh, areas, let's say by pressing this button. You can go to the square uh, meter. Let's say you need to measure the square uh, meter of your floor. Laser is being activated. Press once. You will get the one measurement, the one value. Next, it will go to the second value. You can see it's flashing. Press again. 
and that's how you have measured the square meter of your floor, the M2. Now, if you want, you can measure the M3, the cubic meter. The first value is flashing. Press the laser. There's the first value. We go to the second value. Press again. And the third value. Press again. And then you've got the M3, the cubic meter. And of course, every time you need to choose uh, uh, the reference point, back, front, and piece from here. Now, other measurement, if I'm going to press again this button, we can go to the display and we can see the first value is flashing and we can measure the length, the width and the height. And press, we've got the first value and the second value. If I'm going to press it again, first value, second, third, and it will calculate and because right now I'm not moving uh, my unit, it's getting this error because it's measuring uh, every time the same value. This is like the Pythagoras uh, theorem that it describes the dependence of the length of the sides in a right angled triangle. Using the simple Pythagoras function, is it possible to calculate the length of one of the legs? This feature is uh, particularly useful for uh, poorly accessible measurement points. Oh, the Greeks and the mathematics. Well, we love the Greek ancients. See clear. And with this uh, plus and negative, you can uh, take uh, two individual values, take a measurement, length or area or volume, so that the display is showing a volume or the negative. Okay, again. Great. And with a memory button, you can see what was taken, all the measurements that I made. Great. Now let's move on and take some measurements in a real length and to see how much accurate it is this unit. Now for start measuring we've got this draw. I will start with a small length just to see how much accurate it is. First I will see with a manual measurement it is 53 centimeters and same here. And here it is uh, 32.5 centimeter. 32.5, I can say 32.4. Yep, 32.4. Okay. Let's turn it on. And I would like to measure from the back, from here. Now let's press. Yep, 53. <laughs> Very accurate. 53. Nice. And let's see in here. Another value, 53, correct. Now let's see this side, 32.3. Now let's see it again, 32.3, mm, yeah, yeah, I can say uh, maybe outside here it is a little bit far away from down here. But let's check it here. Yep, the same. It is very accurate. It is 32.3. Nice. Let's check in from this side. The same. Nice. Now, I would like to find the square meter inside this jaw. Let's move on here. Measure the first. Now, we can start here. Okay, and measure on the second. And we've got the values again. It is 0 0.171 square feet. Nice, thumbs up. It's doing a great job. I like it. Now, let's measure something that is has a bigger distance. Now, let's say I need to measure from here to here this area. I need to install a solve. 
And as you remember, this has a spirit level. Just try to level it in the middle. Press the red to enable the laser. And again, press it. And it will take the values. It is 2 meter uh, point zero twenty six. And of course, I can measure a bigger distance. We've got 11 meters and 128 millimeters. As you remember, maximum is 50 meters. Now I'm going to measure the square meter of my living room and kitchen. Uh, let's go here. You can see the first value is flashing. First value was taken 6.76 meter and the second is flashing now. And ready in the second we've got 4.43 and uh, the square meter it is 30.025. Great, I like it. Measure the distance between these two woods. And it is 1 meter and 151 millimeters. And even you can take a multiple measurements. And stop. Great. Well, guys, there are so many things that you can measure with this laser distance measurer. <laughs> Definitely you will find the right one and take the correct measurements that you want. For me, thumbs up. It's doing a great job. It is very accurate. I like that it has a future to find the square meter. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's very good. Even the angle. And that is working perfect. The maximum distance that I measure off camera, it was about uh, 37 uh, meters. And it was working perfectly with no problem. It cost only 22 euros. Well, just buy it, try it, do your job and see how it goes. And same for me, I will see how it works and I will leave down below to the description my thoughts if something went wrong, something is not working so well. And with all that guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like or like my videos your choice. Share this video, you never know who may need it and hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.